Jesus loves me that I know, but the Bible tells me so. At least in the bit that I read, anyway. Hi there, folks. We from the religious right would just like to point out that the religious and the right bit has nothing to do with politics. It's simple. We are right, so therefore we are the religious right, and you are always wrong. Ha! Today I would like to introduce you with my cherry tree. Here we have various cherries. These are all cherries from Matthew. Ah, ha ha. You see, this is a cherry from Matthew 7, verses 1 to 6. This is a cherry from Matthew... Sorry, one more. This is a cherry from Matthew 6, 1 to 6. And this is a uh, group of cherries here from uh, Matthew 15, 1 to 9. But we don't want those. What I want is this big juicy cherry here, because this will convince you. This is the best cherry ever. This cherry here is Matthew 26. Now, Matthew 26. Do you understand? This video is for everyone. It's for Christians. It's for atheists. It's for people who believe in anything. Fervently believe in something. Whether you believe in evolution, or you believe that baptism is not a requirement for salvation, not a work of God in your heart, not something God has us do in obedience because it is part of what Christ said when he said, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. It's for everybody anywhere in the world who believes strongly that their point of view is right and true. And that they believe that things, everything supports their view. This is for you. We're going to tell you a little more about this. Hi there, this uh, you have just seen is the introduction to a video by a YouTuber called Nephilim Free. Okay, obviously it's like sugar free, you know, no sugar, he's without Nephilims. Although he does actually insist that Nephilims exist. Uh, so he's not that free of them. They seem to actually occupy his mind, he's pretty possessed with the idea. Anyway. That's, this video here is not talking about Nephilims. This video, as he says, is open to everybody. It's for everybody. Except if you go to write a comment on, it, on any of his videos, what actually happens is he'll censor them, okay? So nobody can see them. He will only allow those nice little comments that he comes through, or he will allow the ones that make him look good and you look bad, okay? I put a comment on this video stating the fact that it was very interesting that he made a video for everybody but he wasn't allowing everybody to comment on it he responded leaving this comment okay but his response was that he could decide who he commented on his channel fair enough but don't make a video saying it's for everybody and then okay decide who comments and who doesn't that's hypocrisy okay now you're a man of the bible you quote it enough Okay, but do you read it enough? I mean, very interesting. Um, he chose Matthew, okay, Matthew 26, but Matthew 7, 1 to 5, Matthew 6, 1 to 6, Matthew 15, 1 to 9. Nice little cherries, ignored them. Could have even chosen, well, now that talks about the hypocrisy, but even Matthew, Matthew talks a lot about what he should learn. If he wants to read Matthew, he should learn Matthew. He should take Matthew, all of it, to heart. Okay? I'm not a religious man, but oh, if you're going to preach, practice. Okay? Otherwise, it's hypocrisy. Matthew 23, 25 to 28. Okay? Because you are a Pharisee. Okay? Sorry, he is a Pharisee, not you watching, but anyone who thinks like him, okay, the Christian self-righteous, okay. Now, anybody like Nephilim, or Nephilim himself, and if anyone can pass this on because I'm blocked, but I think it's only fair he actually sees it. He may not like the mirror that's put in front of him, but it may actually serve him if he really wants to get into the kingdom of heaven. Um... Otherwise, he can just put it all in his pipe and smoke it because reading it isn't going to do any many good because he's not he's not getting into there. Um, while he's at it, he could also look into Luke 19, 1 to 10. If hypocrisy is the icing on the cake, what would the cherry be? Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees! 
hypocrites. For you cleanse the outside of the cup and dish, but inside they are full of extortion and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisees, first clean the inside of the cup and dish, that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like whitewashed tombs, which indeed appear beautiful outwardly, but inside are full of dead men's bones and all uncleanness. Even so, you also outwardly appear righteous to men, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Hi, this is just a very quick message to Nephilim 3 in response to your personal mail. Uh, by the way, mate, I don't have a car. That's why I'm standing at a bus stop. Uh, as for your comment about the computer, I realize that your comment was meant in irony. But when irony is full of stupidity, it becomes nothing more than sarcasm. And we know what sarcasm is, don't we?